who is the driving force behind stem cell transplant for people with MS? You would think it should be the doctors, right? But actually, it is still the patients. When I was doing my stem cell transplant in 2012, I was followed by the Norwegian National Broadcasting. And when I was in studio, nine months after my transplant, I was asked by the host, isn't it so that the doctors are getting more curious about this treatment? And my response at that time was, I think that is triggered by us patients who are demanding the treatment. In nine years, this treatment has shown so promising results that the doctor should be interested. But still, when I read the highlights from the Ectrian's workshop report now from March 2022, look what it says. Let's look at page five. The use of stem cell transplantation in demulating disorders has been a primarily patient-driven approach. They conclude that this is still a patient-driven approach. And I think it's so sad that I actually was right back in 2013 and that things haven't changed since. This tells me two things. Firstly, that the medical community are not as curious and not as interested as I think they should have been in the history and the results from all of us who has been doing this treatment for over 10 years and are sharing our results. Because it's not always the good results, but it is so promising that they really should be interested in looking into it. The other thing it tells me is that we should be so proud of ourselves, all of us doing this treatment, who did the research, who took the chance, who went the road and who shared our story and our experience and the knowledge we had gained so that other people with MS would be aware of this possibility. But I really think it's sad that my conclusion in 2013 still holds. Nå skal jo faktisk fagmiljøet vurdere i løpet av våren at det er en behandling de skal gå god for. Så litt nysgjerrighet er jo der ute. Ja, men den tror jeg er trigget av litt i forhold til pasienter som pusher litt på dem også.